Uh, Mary's on the line. She apparently went to the Stone... Was it called the Stone Soup Music Festival in River Beach? Yeah, yeah. Great was White was actually there. Great and White Wow, wow, there. wow. And did, did you have a good time, Mary? We had gone in the morning, and some hokey band was playing, and we kind of walked around. It was super dog-friendly. It was kind of... It was fun. Little towny kind of festival. And uh, they even had um, chicken broth slushies for the dogs. Which was kind of fun. Gross. Oh, okay. For a dog, they would love that. <laughs> oh well, of course, for a dog. I mean, yeah. we weren't going to eat them, but for the dog, they Come on. Would, didn't you want to loved it? Didn't you want to just maybe try it a little bit though? No, no, not at all. <laughs> See, I don't know. Like, See, you, I, you're I, weird. You eat dog food. Yeah, I know. It's so strange. Every to me. time I get dog food uh, that is new. I want to try a little you bit of it. it? I, I want to try no. a little bit just to see what the dog is experiencing. Now I, I do the same thing with baby food with Oliver too. Well, baby food's meant for humans. I have made humans. my dog dog treats and I've tried them because everything that goes into them are is people stuff. Right. You know, it's whole wheat flour, peanut butter, pumpkin. Oh yeah, know? especially so it's not bad. They just don't taste. Especially if it's if it's that high end stuff. You want to see if, right. if what you're giving them is like, you know, uh, people quality. Then you find like out. What are, like, what are you missing out on? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then, <laughs> as you said, you try it and you're like, wait, this tastes nothing like peanut butter. I did this one time. There's a little <laughs> place downtown that is a pet store and they have a bakery. Right. And, and, and they, they make, make cupcakes. And so we always got my dog uh -huh. cupcakes for his birthday. And so it was carrot cupcakes. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to try a little nibble of this. It, it was just, it tastes like nothing. I mean, the funny thing is they, he inhales it like it's the best tasting thing in the world. I couldn't taste anything. I mean, it was a yeah. little, not even a little salty, but a little salty. That was about it. Am I a horrible person? Like, I want to play a joke on my daughter one day <laughs> and go get her one of those cupcakes. We're like, hey, I got yeah, your treat. Yeah, you totally should. Hey, here no, you go. Here's your treat. Awesome. Let's see how that's received. <laughs> That's good parenting right there. What's the lesson learned? There? I think I have to wait for like April Fool's Day for that. The lesson learned is that you never want to eat sweets and sugary stuff. Or don't trust your dad. <laughs> yeah. No, April Fool's Day would totally fine. That would be fine. She'd be very mad at you for a long time. I could just see me purchasing yeah. the cupcake from the dog treat purveyor and be like, uh, so this is totally safe for a four-year-old to eat, huh? Yes, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the call, Mary. Appreciate it. <laughs> you never tried. I know I know you Just guys. Just a cupcake. That's all I've ever tried. You guys used to buy. Uh, um, the kangaroo? The, the, no, the oh. stuff that you would get like in the in the tube. and Oh, the meat? Yes. Yeah, I thought about it. I got really close one day. It would look like a big summer sausage. And so it wasn't in a tube. It was like a, in a, like a summer sausage skin. And um, I think it was lamb. Or you didn't like want to that. try that stuff, and I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't try it. No, I did. I kind of did, and then I thought, no, I'm not going to do this. Like I'll just, I'll just go get some lamb. I don't need to. Yeah, but don't you want to know what, like, the quality of it is? Well, like, you read what? up a lot about of this stuff, and they'll tell you that it doesn't taste like anything because dog senses, you know, or I don't know, are a hundred times what our senses are. So you know, there's no flavor in the, it to us, but to them, it's it's very flavorful. Is that what the is that the reasoning for no flavor in dog food? Well, yeah, I say that you know we need a lot of I salt and we need a lot of sugar no. and we need a lot of things to make things taste good. Where their senses are, yeah, they don't need it. No, that's BS uh, on the on the behalf of the dog food. That's why you're not supposed to feed them, you know, human food because there's too much sugar yeah. and starches and, sh and so all that stuff. my son, he's really he's learning how to eat, but he's he's doing a fine job except for. He's grabbing handfuls of food and shoving it in his mouth. And when he does that, he grabs handfuls of food and he shoves it in his mouth and he gets about 20 to 30% of what was in his hand. In his mouth. In his mouth. The other 70% fall to the wayside, which makes my dogs happier than pigs in slop, literally, okay? Because now there's three pigs in slop, my son and my two dogs. And there's a full dish of dog food over here with them. They could eat at any period of time. But when we get out uh, Oliver's high chair and we set it up, they are... They're like down there. They are waiting. parked underneath there. So you can't tell me that, oh, well, dogs prefer dog food because they're, they've are they got heightened senses and better taste buds so they don't need as much because too sweet, you better believe if they Well, get, no, they love human food because, yeah, it tastes better. No, because there's all that extra stuff in it. I'm just okay. saying. Okay. Yeah. They, they, they don't put as much salt and sugar and things like that in dog food because it's not good for you. Especially a dog. It's not good for him. 
And, you know, I don't know. And their senses are, are much stronger. So I they argue, can taste flavors that we can't taste. I it's like argue, they can smell things that we can't smell. I argue that it's uh, not that. It's just they don't need to make it taste good. Well, so, look at a, so look they at a drug it, dog that's trained it, to pull they, out marijuana. They, you know a dog's sense is better than a human. Right. Understand that. They can smell Understand it. that 100%, okay? But if given the choice, they eat people food over dog food. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay? yeah no, I'm so not dog food manufacturers could make the dog food taste better. <laughs> But it would cost more money. It would cost more money. So don't, don't give me this BS line that is like, oh, well, the dog tastes so much so more than a human you, does. Would you have tried the chicken slushy? That sounds so I think gross. so. I would. Ice I, I cold chicken broth? I would have, do you uh, ever tried dog treats there, Seth? I heard you guys talking about it earlier. I was uh, in recording with somebody. But, uh, you, you know, as a, a kid, I used to enthrall my cousins by eating dog biscuits. I mean... Wait, you used to like eat them regularly? No, no, no. I just, just uh, you know, once in a while, like to freak them out. It's like, what is? It? It's just like bread or whatever. You know, it's nothing. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll eat anything. No to Jake writes in. He says uh, he's never actually tried them, but bacon strips. You it's know, bacon. Uh, bacon. <laughs> <laughs> What's it say? I can't right? read. <laughs> bacon strips have always intrigued me, and you know what? It's funny. Is I'm the same way. I see those bacon strips, and I'm like. Man, I've got a... I, yeah, it's flavored days, rubber. One of these days, I'm going to get around to trying that. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. It's bacon! Mm, I love you. I love bacon. I love you. I thought that was Seth doing <laughs> no, that. No, no, no. I know you can do voices. I, I, I like the part where he says, what's it say? I can't read. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, hey, Jen, we've got uh, two tickets for you to go to Bruce and Bites. Awesome. Now, your name goes in the hat for the drawing. If we draw it on Friday, you've got uh, six tickets total, and you'll be in the VIP lounge, okay? That would be amazing. Thank the, you. The best news for you, Jen, is that uh, there's wings there and not uh, Frisky's cat treats. <laughs> no, I'm excited about wings the wings. <laughs> I think the wings are going to add a lot of, a, a whole new dynamic wings. to it. So, Hold on now, the line, we'll get you all set. It is gonna, I'm excited for that. Now, here, here's the thing though, okay? I don't know if anybody's thought this through and I hope Steve is listening or you could pass this podcast along to Steve. Is you're not supposed to feed dogs chicken bones, right? Not human food at all, but yeah, especially chicken bones. Uh, like choke on them. They have dogs from the Woods Humane Society at Bruise and Bites. Oh. Don't this, be throwing them wings. Huh? I don't know if they... Do they still do that? I don't know. I remember years ago thinking, oh, this is the problem cool. problem is because- we drink a lot of these things and then they forget. <laughs> you know. they, I remember years ago they used to have dogs running around. I don't know if they do that anymore. They, you, you would think they would have some sort of adoption option. But uh, I, uh, while they're there, yeah. yeah. Here, you've had uh, 15 beers. Yeah, you want to adopt this dog? Go right ahead. <laughs> yeah, I, really. I think that's what happened. Was people like they I find it tied to a post to block like, away? Need, you I can't, love you, man. Yeah, you, wait, well, I don't think they let him take them right. From you got to come tomorrow they, when you're yeah. sober. There you go. Had some uh, meet the dog, yeah. and uh, you're set to go. Leave yeah, I'm set. pretty sure you know they might have a few volunteers walking a dog or two after, around. After the show but, podcast, we'll call Steve and ask him and get to the bottom of it. Okay. All right. Well, my dog was running around with a wing in his mouth, but it's because my cat brings in birds and he literally. Had a wing. <laughs> and he's like, give me that, you know. Cats and are terrible. Yeah, puts bones, it behind the, the TV table. Chicken and, bones, what? Yeah. They splinter, and, and yeah, and that's why dogs can't get after those chicken bones. This one's not supposed to be involved with that. Yeah. Uh oh. Seth's looking like, oh, like I've given, I've given a dog a chicken bone. Yeah, only <laughs> for the, only for the last twenty years, and nothing's ever happened. But hey, the only thing that ever happened was. Uh, one of my dogs got a, a little rib caught between, like, on the roof of her mouth, stuck in between the teeth. Man, that's hard to get out. And it was like they're Quit just freaking her out. Quit dog's chicken bones. Uh, it wasn't chicken. It was a little rib. It was. I know, know, but still, but yeah. anything that's like chokeable. <clears throat> well, and then no human food? Oh, come on. We've got an agreement. They get 20%. They get the crust of my pizza. <laughs> that's their biscuits. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm, I'm a horrible pet owner. Whatever I don't want, you They can sure have. seem happy. 93.3 KZOZ rocks Jeff and Jeremy in the morning.